I'm Morelli. And I'm Octavia. And, and this, this is Rose Week in Review. Today is Friday, January 19th, 2018. Hey, really? have you finished part one or part two of your HI yet? No, have you? I only finished part one. <laughs> These, These kids, kids are, are more dedicated, dedicated than, than we are. your freshman year just like seeing the whole school and a lot of fun and a lot of new friends volleyball do you plan on joining any sports uh, wrestling and football like doing gymnastics do you plan on joining any clubs this year uh, not yet I don't know clubs I gotta see the clubs first no you should join video production okay <laughs> I recruited one so last month I got my nails in and this lady just kept interrogating me, asking me if I had a boyfriend. Shh, I am trying to meditate. You don't know about world religions? No, who do I look like? You really should join that class. Hi, my name is Risa Suho. I'm currently a junior in, in International Baccalaureate. So I take World Religions for Mr. Fultz, second period, and World Religions is basically learning about different religions that, and most of, and I think it's pretty good because most of the time people don't really know much about Hinduism or Buddhism other than the people who practice it. Hi, I'm Mr. Fultz and I teach IB World Religions. Um, as you know, due to, uh, some of our classes are going to be reduced next year and um, I teach one period of Ivory World Religions. I'm really, really working on recruiting uh, junior, current sophomores and this year juniors to join my class next year. I'm really passionate about the class. Um, we consider questions like, what is the human condition? Where are we going and how do we get there? L literally questions from religious traditions that have been debated over the centuries. It's a really hands-on class, so we, we hear from ministers and imams, and uh, gurus, and we learn about all of the world religions. It's, it's not uh, a religion, uh, a class to practice religion, but to learn about the world's religions. If you love being open-minded and learning about other people and stuff, I highly recommend it. So I need 40 sophomores and juniors in combined in order to be able to run this class next year. So please consider signing up. Uh, hey Royals. Uh, the marketing classes are going to be having a uh, drink sales competition on Tuesday the 23rd during all three lunches in the cafeteria. Um, ten groups will be competing for your dollars. They're going to be selling um, drinks. Anything from authentic Mexican atoles to uh, Oreo milkshakes to Kool-Aid slushies and everything in between. Um, drinks are going to be about two dollars or less and um, there is going to be a winner. So please support the group that you think has the best product and um, has the best overall presentation. Uh, this is a great chance for the kids in marketing class to practice real life business and marketing skills. Um, thank you and hope you can uh, come. Hi Rose, <laughs> I'm Ivy, I'm in marketing class. We are doing a drinking challenge with different groups, so please come and support us. Hey everybody, you wanna hear a joke? Do I? No, I'm gonna tell it to you anyways. Okay, so did you hear about the kidnapping? Oh my gosh, it's not a joke. Don't worry, he's awake now. <laughs> Your jokes suck. Mine are better than yours. Then tell me one. What color is a burger? Um, yellow, green, brown, red. No, no, no. Burgundy. <laughs> Hi, I'm Michael Christensen. And I'm Michael Christensen. <laughs> we appreciate you tuning in to this week's Royals Week in Review. Hey, bud. Yep. What did the red light say to the green light? What? 
Don't look. I'm changing. What do you call, call a guy with a rubber toe? I don't know. Roberto. Well done. Hey, bud. Yep. Where do cows go for a first date? <laughs> Where? The movies. Okay. Hey, Andy. Yes, bud. What do ducks wear to weddings? I don't know. Duxedos. <laughs> what else would they wear? That's logical. Hey, bud. Yep. Knock, knock. Who's there? Europe. You're a poo. No, no, you're a poo. Hey, Andy. Yes. Do you want to hear a good knock knock joke? Sure. You start. Knock knock. Who's there? <laughs> Who's there? Who? Who's there? Who? Who? <laughs> what the heck are you doing? <laughs> Mike's out. Things are changing at KM. After several conversations with staff and students at KM, we've decided to make an adjustment to the KM headgear policy. Since before I came here in 2004, KM has had a no hats, no hoods, no bandanas, no headgear, period, policy. KM is a different place in 2018. We're a school that accepts and appreciates individuality, voice and expression through your beliefs, clothes, and yes, even headgear. Which brings me to the change. As of Monday, January 22nd, KM students will be allowed to wear beanies, ball caps, bandanas, do-rags, and hoods on campus and in the building during the school day. This freedom of headgear expression, however, comes with a few non-negotiable expectations. One, teachers are in control of their own classroom expectations and may have a tighter classroom expectations than the school. For example, you may be allowed to wear headgear in the halls and around campus and in certain classes, but teachers have the right to make their rooms a hat, hood, beanie, do-rag, headgear free zone. And as a student at KM, you must respect and follow that classroom rule while in that teacher staff member's classroom. In that space that has been clearly stated uh, as a headgear free zone, will be subject to discipline. Two, all headgear must be appropriate for school. Just like your clothing, it cannot have drug or alcohol references, no weapons, no inappropriate language or derogatory or offensive pictures or words. And three, to make this work, we need students to help monitor one another. If students are breaking this rule, either by content of their hats or headgear or refusing to respect a teacher's classroom rules, we need everyone to remind those that this change is for the good. If people intentionally break the expectations above, this headgear freedom could be revoked. Thanks and enjoy your freedom. Hey, what's um, up? Yeah, what's going on? Why does everybody have the hood on? Oh, you haven't heard the announcements? No. Oh, well, we can wear hats, hoods, beanies, bandanas, and do-rags to school now. Hey, for real? That's cool. That's what's up. Yeah. It's our new rule, and all the teachers have a different, can decide how they want that rule to be in their classroom, and in my classroom, no hoods or hats, please. But in other classrooms, it might be different. Oh, okay. And in mine, that's my rule. Thank you. Okay. And that's it for this week's episode of Royals Week in Review. I'm Morelli. And I'm Octavia. See, See you next, next week. week. Bye! Bye. Is it recording now? Okay.